Once again, the children were the protagonists of the first part of the general audience, as the Pope made his rounds throughout St. Peter's Square in the Pope Mobile. Some looked like they were having fun, but others were frightened. English-speaking pilgrims and visitors present at today's audience. The most emotional moment of this week's meeting was the prayer for the Brussels attack victims. E rivolgo nuovamente un appello a tutte le persone di buona volontà per unirsi nell'unanime condanna di questi crudeli abomini che stanno causando solo morte, terrore e orrore. In his catechesis, the Pope gave some advice on how to live this year's Holy Week during the Jubilee of Mercy. Tres días intensos que nos hablan de la misericordia de Dios, pues hacen visible hasta dónde puede llegar su amor por nosotros. El trido pascual es el memorial de un drama de amor que nos da la certeza que nunca seremos abandonados en las pruebas de la vida. The Pope explained the meaning of the tritum gestures, particularly the symbolic silence of Holy Saturday. In the audience, there were many Spanish-speaking pilgrims. The Pope was not expecting them and greeted them with surprise. Parece que el idioma español es muy bullicioso. Many of them were participants of the UNIFORUM, a conference that brings together university students from around the world. Sono lieto di accogliere i partecipanti al congresso UNIF. Per studenti universitari promosso dalla prelatura dell'Opus Dei. It was windy in St. Peter's Square, so much that the Pope took off his cap. To avoid trouble, Pope Francis decided to keep it in his pocket. <laughs>